Bandits collecting taxes doesn't mean they've taken over Lai Muhammad from the Punch newspaper. Uh, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Muhammad, says the fact that bandits are imposing levies on communities does not mean they have taken control. Muhammad said this during a press conference in Abuja on Thursday while reacting to an article by the Economist magazine titled Insurgency, Secessionism and Banditry Threaten Nigeria. Uh, Muhammad argued that imposing levies does not mean that the criminals are in charge, adding that it takes, it takes place in many parts of the country, including the South, where touts, commonly referred to as area boys, also impose levies. Let me quote him word for word according to the punch. Do you know how many places in this country where area boys collect taxes? And there is no terrorism or banditry there. I don't want to mention names. In many of our cities, they carve out their own territory. Now referring to area boys. So it is not indicative of the of the bandits having taken over. Rules are not uh, the same as terrorists that steal, that maim, that destroy cities. They cannot be compared. But there is, there is something um, uh, good in that statement. Mm -hmm. If we are not careful, they can graduate to that level. Yes. Because how will you be driving your car? Somebody say you, will, you cannot pass here until you, you pay money. Mm -hmm. That is, we, 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 have to, we have to listen to um, Lai Mohammed in that area. Uh, the Agbero are especially working for the government. Mm. You understand? They issue you tickets, and the ticket is coming from where? Where is it coming from? And most of them work with the last man. They work with the police. Mm. And they detect how much to be collected for the motorists. These people in the evening, they give their chairman money. They go and remit money to all these people. So the Agberos, you can trace them. You can hold them responsible. There are people that are in charge of them that you can hold responsible for mm. them. One of the fastest signs of a failing state, mm. right, is when people begin to carve out sections of that state for their own control. Now, it gets worse when a government official and a, 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 a part of the administration is openly claiming that people are carving sections of its own state. Could you do that under a military regime? Mm -hmm. It's not, it, it, it's, it's unconscionable. You can't even think about it. Do you understand? And then the worst part, I'm talking about three different levels here. First of all, people are carving out sections, right? The second level is that a member of the administration, a high-ranking member of the administration is coming publicly to claim, admit that they are carving out sections. Now, the third part, which, is, which concerns you and me, is that we have become so numbed to what a functional society means, that we are now beginning to compare area boys to, to what do you call them? People are saying that uh, area boys, yes, area boys this, area boys that. There is no part of it that is good.